Black Self Development Programme was um, written in 2000 2001 by some senior black um, London probation officers and a senior lecturer from Goldsmiths University who were concerned about the revolving door aspect um, of black offenders and also the disproportionate number of um, black offenders within the criminal justice system. So that's why this programme was developed as a culturally specific programme um, that has co cognitive and attitudinal change elements within it. The programme is aimed at black prisoners um, and it's people who are prisoners who identify themselves as black. What makes it innovative is it's a culturally specific based programme and it's delivered by an all black delivery team. What this does, it provides um, the course members with a safe environment so they can build up an element of trust and bonding and within that they can share life experiences that they've never shared before. And that level of honesty enables them to reflect back on their lives and have a look at where they've gone wrong in the past and where they're looking to go with a more positive attitude. It's been an excellent partnership. We have been delivering this programme in different institutions over the years, but this particular partnership that we have with Circo and the Mount has worked really well. From the point of the prison, the Mount is a, um, I was very impressed with the rehabilitation courses and programmes that they offer the prisoners, which means the Black Self Development Programme fits really well. And also the Mount and Circo senior management team had an understanding of the importance of knowing your self-identity and what, how that will actually raise your confidence in your self-esteem and help you to move on in a positive way at this part of your sentence. This programme is, um, is really important and significant because it enables people to not only just look at their offending behaviour um, and look at the impact it's had on their families and on the victims and on themselves, but it also gets them to, re to examine who they are, where they've been in society and where they can move to. So what this programme does, it actually opens up options that they didn't realise were actually available to them. And what makes it innovative, it is through looking at your culture how that has changed over the years, the stereotypes that you've had, and those stereotypes are challenged throughout the programme and giving them the confidence to move on. The most successful, or when we know the most successful part of the programme is that when we first go into a prison, especially when we first came into the mountain, we have to do a lot of work actually going around and talking to diversity reps and talking to prisoners to actually get them on board and recruit them for the programme. Once that piece of work has been done and we've had a successful programme delivered, what we've then found is that the prisoners who were on the previous course will actually go out and recruit, the, um, recruit for the next programme. While we've been delivering um, the programme on the wing, partway through we've had prisoners going past and knocking on the door, wanting to know what's what, what we're doing and what we're teaching because they're hearing about it and actually we've been taking names for the next programme part way through the current programme being delivered and I think that is one of the main successes of the programme that it actually self-recruits.